My name is Bella, and today I'm going to teach you how to take good care of your hermit crab. What you're going to need for your hermit crab's cage is obviously you're going to need a cage. You're going to need your hermit crab, and you're going to need gravel. Um, I would not recommend to you. I would recommend you some gravel instead of newspaper because. Um, it is said that newspaper is toxic to hermit crabs because of the ink, um, but you could use sand or gravel. Um, and you're going to need like shells. You're going to need hermit crab food. Um, a little bottle that you could um, just like mist on the cage, and you're um, going to need. Um, conditioner, water conditioner. So what you're going to do is first you're just going to pour the gravel in the cage and then you're going to put your hermit crab in the cage and you can take all kinds of different shells but if they're all big shells, like if you have really big shells, I'd recommend only putting a few but I have some small shells so you could just like place that in the cage too. Um, so it's just like a beach for your hermit crab. So it's mostly like her habitat. And I would recommend having shells that are the whole size of your hermit crab. And put those in there too because they look like different shells. Um, and uh, you're also going to need, um, when you're going to take your water, these hermit crabs really need um, a wet habitat. The temperature is like in the 70s, but no lower than like 60 because then they will die. And um, they like their habitat rearranged once in a while. Um, and whenever you fill your bottle with water, um, I recommend using a jug and fill it with, um, you can fill it with sink water, but do not spray them with sink water. You're going to take your sink water, fill it up with the jug, and then put 10 drops of water conditioning in your um, jug, but it has to be full to put 10 drops, okay? And then you can pour some of it in your bottle, and then once in a while just mist it. I would say about like two or three times a day. Um, and for the food, um, it could be like pellets. Um, and I have dried shrimp too. Some people say that they could eat like raw meat, but I'm not really sure about that because I haven't researched that. But um, you could get these at the pet store. Um, and if you collect shells from the beach and you put them in your hermit crab's cage, I recommend spraying them with dechlorinated water first. And one more thing about the water, um, if you get it from the sink, after putting the water, 10 drops of your water conditioning in, just shake it a little. So, uh, it's just all in there because it, like... It's like chocolate milk. The chocolate falls to the bottom of the cup if you don't mix it. Um, so yeah. And you can get all different types of shells. And I have recently had a fly incident with my hermit crab. And um, they've just been laying baby flies in the cage. And we've seen maggots. And they laid the eggs on a shell. So I recommend throwing that shell out. Um, and what you need to do is, if you have a cage that's about this size, you need to fill it up with water and put one cup of bleach in there and let it sit for a couple hours. And um, then dump all the water out the next day and um, just wait for it, the bleach to dry out until it doesn't smell like bleach anymore. Um, you got to rinse it out and then dry it really good you got to rinse it out with the sink water. Um, so yeah, and you just have to really 
dry it so they don't die because they can die from sink water, um, camera flash, um, they could die from falling because they are very fragile even though they look strong. Um, they're very fragile and when they're moving like out of their shell to a new shell um, do not touch their abdomen because it's very very fragile um, and in case your hermit crab moves to like the same size what looks like the same size shell and she moves back and forth or he um, you need to uh, just leave it alone because sometimes hermit crabs like to do that. That's what my hermit crabs been doing lately. And um, so yeah. And if you see, it looks like your hermit crab is dead because it's drooping out. That's not really the hermit crab. It's it's skin sometimes. And if you look in the shell to check, um, the it, the hermit crab looks white, um, and that just means it's molting. And it's just getting new skin. Um, and do not spray it. Do not spray water directly at your hermit crab at that time because it will stress it out very quickly. Um, and don't bother your hermit crab. Like touch it and pick it up all the time. And just let it be and run around. And um, for feeding bowls, they have like little rock things that your hermit crab can climb up and get your food from it, but I put it in a shell, and I have like a little water shell, has some water in it, and, uh, so yeah, and, uh, for, like, your hermit crab and stuff, um, it doesn't matter what type of gravel it has, and, um, I would recommend, like, having a little, like, a big shell, but it's, I mean like one of those stone shells, kind of like this one, but it's big, and your hermit crab can like crawl into it, and it's really dark inside, it's kind of like a mini cave, um, but it's not this type of shell, it's like this type of shell, but it's a dome, yeah, because they like to dig, and they like darkness, um, and if you have two hermit crabs, um, and one, you could see like when it like, I'm trying to explain it, like, you see this part, the soft part, that's like its head, and you see like, little tiny brown dots, that's X, okay, um, and they don't have to hatch, if you don't want more hermit crabs, you can just throw the eggs away when they're laid, because they lay them at the bottom. So, that's about it, thanks for watching, bye!